Yeah, I found just enough strength um, to finish, I guess, right where I needed to. Um, it's been a long, long three or four weeks, and I had to have a lot of faith that everything that I had done up to this point was going to um, help me finish as I needed to, and it was really smart, I think, um, kind of approaching the meet the way that I did um, in terms of my events. Um, I'm really glad that I kind of took a step back and didn't um, overworked myself and I think it really gave me the opportunity to do my best today and I am very pleased that's my second best 200 I am ever actually um, and who knows I guess what I <laughs> would have been able to do if I hadn't been sick but um, all things considering I'm really really happy and this has kind of all been a whirlwind and I'm I'm kind of in shock that I'm gonna be going to Tokyo with the team but um, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity and um, yeah. good things are happening even among some crappy stuff too so I had really really high goals for myself in multiple events and I've had the best training of my life um, up until July 2nd when I found out that I wasn't gonna be able to train anymore and um, it is really, really hard um, sitting back and not being able to participate. I think among all of this, the biggest thing that I learned was how much I actually really enjoy competing and um, having to step back was really, really difficult and I never really would have been able to guess that I would have been so upset not to be in the 400 <laughs> IM. Um, that's a beast of a race, but um, I guess something that I really have kind of taken ownership of and um, I'm so so happy for my teammates and one day I'll be in the mix again um, to be able to race with them and um, I'll be able to continue to train with them um, through those events but it was really hard and being able to control my emotions through that was um, definitely a challenge. I knew that I wasn't going to really be all invested until the last day um, after my prelims of my 200 fly I decided okay I'm going to rest up for the 200 I am and um, it took a lot to kind of try to stay calm, try to focus on what I was um, doing and try to kind of step back emotionally from the meet for a couple of days and um, but I've learned so much about myself and um, I couldn't be more grateful for all the people that have kind of come into my life even out of the woodworks um, to support me and um, I'm feeling really loved um, and I couldn't be more grateful for everyone that's kind of stepped in to um, support me through all of this two weeks um, and then I got back in the water for a couple days didn't feel great had to take a couple more days off um, and then after that um, did stuff close to meat warm-ups um, until I got here um, and did some pace I guess two or three days before my 200 to see kind of how my body would react and um, I was just fine um, and then this this whole thing has been quite an experiment um, especially with my 200 fly, fly prelims and I have to say for not swimming that long I'm very pleased with the 210 I think it would be really hard for a lot of people to kind of step up and do that, especially mentally, and so that's something I'm really proud of. My swimming career is like the farthest thing from as planned. Um, something always seems to come up and I know that I'm capable of taking on a challenge and I think that it's only going to make me stronger. Um, definitely different because I walked away on the last night, um, third place last year, with no chance of being on the team. Um, and having that heartbreak a couple days earlier really wore on me and I was just so emotionally overwhelmed um, last year and this year I had prepared for that because I knew that I wasn't going to be at my best um, coming into the meet and um, I guess it was a really really happy surprise um, that I'm going to get another opportunity to race um, but way different um, from last year just because I felt like something was stripped of me and I had accomplished what I needed to and this time I got third and I knew it wasn't a guarantee but I put everything out there. I had like 40 people up in the stands cheering for me um, that were going to have my back no matter the outcome um, and that gives me a lot of peace when I step up to the blocks knowing that no matter how I swim or what I do, like they're going to be there to love and support me. And um, they stayed to through my presentation. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. I don't have a lot of words. Um, it's kind of shocking. It's been my goal all year to do this, but because of the ups and downs, it's like, it's kind of surreal. <laughs> 
initial thought was no. We um, this team is, I think, has a lot of um, people that maybe didn't necessarily expect to make it, and there weren't that many doubles in terms of events, and so third place wasn't a guarantee at all. And my assumption was that I hadn't made it, and I couldn't have been upset with the result that I had. But obviously, I was sad because of the whole situation. And um, my coach walked over to me afterwards and was like, "I think you need to warm down just in case." Um, and I was going to do that anyways to kind of like filter my thoughts. And um, I don't know. I always feel better in the morning when I warm down. And I was sitting in drug testing, and Greg texted me, and he's like, "It's official. You're in." And I, like, my heart sank, but in like the good way where I couldn't believe that it was happening. Um, but it was a full hour after I had raced that I actually found out.